Hey everyone, Hannah here for Finance and Fun Stuff, and today I wanted to go over the shows that I have coming up for the beginning of 2022. I already have a pretty impressive docket lined up, and so I figured I would share it with all of you, and without further ado, let's get right into it. First up, on January 16th, actually this Sunday, we have Back to Base in Buffalo, New York. This is held at the stage in Buffalo, and the headliner for this event is Scott Feta. Now, most of the people that are on this docket I have not seen yet, so I'm super excited to get to see all of these different local artists. Next up, on January 30th at the Westcott Theater in Syracuse, New York, we have Davin. I am super excited to get to see Davin for the first time. I have just recently started getting into his music when I saw he was coming to the Westcott Theater, and I have absolutely fallen in love. In particular, the song Hope It Hurts is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to hear him play some of those songs that I absolutely love live, and I'm sure I will be crying a little bit at this one. Next up, on February 3rd, we have Keizo at the Town Ballroom in Buffalo, New York. I have seen Keizo once before, and it was absolutely incredible. He always brings such a hard, grimy vibe, and the crowd is always absolutely amazing, so I cannot wait to see Keizo again for my first show at the Town Ballroom. Then after that, on February 6th, we have Cheat Codes at the Westcott Theater in Syracuse, New York. This is definitely a little bit outside of my typical range of EDM, as it's a little bit more on the house music side, but I'm super excited to explore that kind of music in the local scene near where I live. Syracuse is most local city to me, and so I'm super excited to see what the following is like for an artist like Cheat Codes. Next, on February 18th, for that entire weekend, we have the event Mysterium Motion. Now this is an event being put on at the Alien Opera House in Syracuse, New York, and this is a two-day event featuring tons of different artists that are going to be playing, as well as different workshops involving different kinds of flow art, and as well as many different vendors being on site as well. I will definitely be attending this event, and hopefully I will be part of the cleanup crew as well, but if, even if I do not get accepted to be part of the cleanup crew, I will definitely be attending this event. Next, on February 26th, we have Subtronics at Echo Stage in Washington, D.C. Me and Sage are going down for a knitting retreat in Virginia that she is super excited about, and so I figured since we are going to be pretty much near D.C. on the way down, it would be a good place to stop before the morning before we went to the retreat, and so it just so happens that Subtronics is going to be playing there on that night. This works out great because although he's going to be in Buffalo the next week, that is going to be the day we are going to be getting back from that retreat, and I didn't really want to drive all the way down to Virginia, drive all the way back home, then drive all the way to Buffalo, then drive all the way back, and then work in the morning. That was definitely not a good idea. And anyway, the production at Echo Stage is absolutely insane. I saw Slander and Millennium there over New Year's weekend, and I cannot wait to see Subtronics there. The next one on March 18th is Rez at the Riverworks in Buffalo. This will be my first show at the Riverworks, and I'm so glad that somebody like Rez is going to be the title for my first show there. I have heard really good things about this venue and that there is plenty of space there, and I cannot wait to see Rez. I have been listening to her music for the past few months, and her Spiral album is just absolutely incredible, and I absolutely love how the bass shakes my body with even just the headphones that I use at home, so I can't wait to hear the bass shake my body when I see her in March. Next up, we have one a little bit different, and that's on March 25th. We have Reliant K at the Town Ballroom in Buffalo. Reliant K is an alternative band that I used to listen to a lot when I was younger, and although I don't listen to them as much as I used to now, they are definitely a band that has stuck with me throughout my adult life. When I saw that they were coming to the Town Ballroom, I knew I had to get a ticket for this event because it's just such an awesome opportunity to see a band that I had totally forgotten about their existence, but I used to absolutely love their music. Next, on April 13th, we have Set the Sky at the Westcott Theater in Syracuse. I am so, so excited to see Set the Sky again. I saw him open up for Midas at that exact venue, and it was truly a magical experience. Although Midas played an amazing set that night, said this guy totally stole the show for me, and I'm so excited to see him headline a show at a local venue near me. And the last show on my list that I have planned as of right now for 2022 is May 1st is Beartooth at the Main Street Armory in Rochester, New York. Now, I'm not super familiar with Beartooth's music, but I am a little bit familiar with one of the openers, Silverstein, and it's actually one of my friend's favorite bands. She absolutely adores Silverstein, and so when I saw that they were playing somewhere fairly local, 
I hit her up and we decided to go to the show, and so I'm super excited to experience both of these bands for the first time live. I really enjoy seeing Rise Against live, and I have heard that they have a very similar vibe, so I'm super excited for the show, and the Armory is always an awesome venue to go to. The last time I was there, I saw Excision just before quarantine, and that was absolutely amazing, so I can't wait for my next show there. Well, that's it for all of the shows that I have planned over the coming months. I'm sure there will be plenty more as the year goes on, but as of right now, these are all of the shows that I have planned. I would love to hear about the shows that you are planning to go to down in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like as it really helps my video spread out around YouTube. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, that way you can be alerted every single time I upload a video, and that way you don't miss a beat from the finance and fun stuff world. Thank you so much for watching and take care.